welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Arunika. I'm a final year medical student studying in Sri Lanka. Um, I just realized that I haven't done a day in the life video in ages, so I thought today would be like the perfect day to film a video showing you guys what I do during the day. So we currently have the clinic um, and I'm supposed to be there, so I'll talk to you guys after that. There's no much to do when all I can is thinking about you. Not doing well, don't know where you are, cause you're not here. Hey guys, so I got home like a while back, and now I'm gonna sleep for like 10 hours. Um, Okay, not 10 hours, but I don't know. I'm just going to pass out now. because I only got like two hours of sleep last night, which is not even surprising at this point. I mean, I oversleep late and then I hit myself in the morning. It was great. We got to see a lot of short cases that are probably going to come for the exam. I mean, not the same patient, obviously, but similar cases will come to the exam and... Yeah, we generally learned a lot today. It was tiring, but worth it. So, like you can see, my dark circles are starting to form. Um, so, I must go to sleep. I'll talk to you guys after I wake up. Hey guys, so it's now around 11.32pm. Um, like I said, I took a really long nap. I don't even know whether I should call it a nap because it really felt like a night's sleep, even though it was a night. Um, so when I woke up, it was around 9.45. Even I can't believe I slept for that long, but honestly, I was so tired and my sleep-wake cycle is so messed up. And I think that's the reason for this. Um, like you can see, I have dark circles. I was feeling extremely tired. I slept like... I think I slept only for like two hours the previous night. I I don't know if it's just me, but I don't think it's just me. But do you guys have that thing where when you know you have to get up early for something and you go to bed early specifically because you need to get sleep and somehow you don't fall asleep in bed just because you know you have to get up early. That thing where when you know you have to get up early for something and you go to bed early specifically because you need to get sleep and somehow you don't fall asleep in bed just because you know you have to get up early. So that's me every time. If I know that I have to get up early for something, I naturally go to bed early, but I don't end up falling asleep for a long time because it's just working in my brain that I have to get up and I only have this amount of hours to sleep. I just stay up for a good amount of hours before falling asleep. That's because I know I have less hours to sleep. It sounds crazy, I know, but honestly, I need to do something about it. Um, I feel pretty good. I feel like it's morning now. I feel super rested, but the thing I is, have to go to uni tomorrow and since I feel well rested, I probably won't fall asleep till past midnight today. I mean, it's already 11.30 and I have some work to do. I have to finish everything that I was supposed to do this afternoon. I have to read up on a few things before I go and examine patients tomorrow. I like last year or so where I just didn't know that I would have gone back to sleep anyway. I can't keep doing it because my final exams are coming up and I really need to know this stuff. So I definitely have to study a bit around the topic and learn a few things before I go tomorrow so that I can get the maximum out of whatever I see tomorrow, the cases I see. So it would take another hour at least to do that. Maybe a couple of hours, like 22 hours. So when I'm done with all that and go back to bed, I'll only be getting a few hours of sleep again and then I'll super tired throughout the day and then I'll come home and just pass out. It's very unhealthy, I need to fix this. I actually don't know how to do this because we were doing online classes for the past couple of weeks and I was just staying up late and waking up late so I'm used to it and now I suddenly have to get up early. I have trouble doing that. So yeah, that's the update. Um, now I'm gonna 
go look up cranial nerve examinations and some other stuff um so i'll talk to you guys after i'm done I may be having problems falling asleep, but he for sure has no issue just falling asleep. If I can lay down beside you, I would, I would. When nothing really matters, that's all I want to do. I hope that you are safe and that I will see you soon. If I can lay down beside you, I would. This is what happens when you're not just a medical student but also a YouTuber. You have to do some other extra stuff typical medical student wouldn't do. spoken with no strings tying you to me I'm happy in your company with no emotion cuz my love deserves to be free I never want to look at a house in the garden I never want to lock you down I know you're not mine it's just my turn but we can still have fun for now me you don't really do commitment trust me consider your message received when you said you couldn't take us too seriously i must admit i was relieved cuz i never want to play happy families with you but i like having you guys it's 1:34 a.m. and i should be going to bed um i just applied my face moisturizer and i should change into pjs I'm honestly I was planning on doing more but I guess I'm really tired and I should go to sleep to break this vicious cycle of just staying up late and then feeling like shit the next day and going to sleep right after I come home cuz I'm not being as productive as I want to be um so I took some of my notes to bed going to go through one of these real quick so that I'm not clueless tomorrow um fully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give this video a thumbs up and if you still haven't subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing 
um i guess i'll see you guys in my next video bye